Good morning. Another symptom of the prosperity gospel that we see here online are many false promised prophecies of health, peace, and a basically trouble-free existence. Sometimes these so-called blessings are conditional upon the person reading, forwarding that communication to three others or five others, and just for doing that, all will be well in their life for a season, even though we're never told how long that season is. Yes, we often see this on Facebook, and these self-proclaimed prophets blindly make promises of prosperity to any and all readers that cooperate. But how could this be? They don't even know them. Compare these supposed prophecies to those found in Scripture, and you'll find that the majority of prophecies God gives us are negative warnings. And even where they may seem to be positive, there are conditions given for their fulfillment. The number of false prophets will be plentiful, and the true prophets of God will be few. Remember that the path of destruction is broad, and many will enter into it. Elijah was outnumbered 850 to 1 on Mount Carmel. King Ahab had 400 prophets promising prosperity in a battle, but only the, the Lord's prophet Micaiah was speaking judgment against him, and he was jailed for it. One time we visited a local church when we were in Botswana, but we left early, and later we checked out the church's Facebook page. The pastor called himself an apostle and a prophet, as did nearly every church leader we encountered there. He may have been a pastor just to have a good job and a respectable living, and that's very common there, but employment is hard to come by. I don't say this was the case, I'm just saying it was pretty common. But this young pastor had one of these prophecies I've referred to as a main posting on his Facebook page, and this is for all to see and to be blessed by anyone who comes along. And I needed to respond to this because the Bible actually opposes what he was proposing in his alleged prophecy. The Word of God tells us that one event happens to all, to the righteous as well as to the wicked. And Jesus promised his disciples that in this world they would have tribulation. And in the book of Acts, we see that it is through much tribulation that we must enter the kingdom of God. But there's more than that. Jesus told us that we must deny ourselves, that we must take up our own cross every day, and that we should rejoice in tribulations when God chastens us, because he is showing us that he loves us and approves we are his children. Hallelujah for that. And so I responded to this pastor's prophecy, and I pointed out that if I was actually a Christian, it couldn't apply to me, and I wouldn't want it to, because then I would not be born again as God's son. This prophecy, therefore, could never pertain to true Christians due to contradictions it has with the Bible. It didn't take long until my comment was deleted, and we were blocked from making further comments on his site. He could have responded, and he could have been corrected if he cared about God more than his ego. The Lord wants to chasten and refine us now, lest we should be condemned with the world and its judgment. Better now than later. This pastor, as in, as in with most pastors and churches, claimed to follow the Bible. So why didn't he have scripture to answer me from? Why couldn't I have led him in an edifying manner. That's the way we, that's where we are at today. But may the Lord grant us the discernment to distinguish false prophets and their prophecies, to know when to rebuke and when simply to walk away, because that's important too. The real key is to know God's word and hold up all things to its light as we soberly consider Jesus' words from John 3, verses 20 and 21. For everyone that doeth evil hates the light, Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. I really hope that this message has been a blessing to you today. Uh, please remember to check the description for related scriptures. May God bless.